G'day and welcome to A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki and today I'm in the beautiful Northern Territory at Charles Darwin University having a look around what this spectacular place is all about and hopefully having a chat with some students about what it's like to study here. As always, A Life That Travels Uni reviews are completely non-biased. This is just to give you some consistent information about what it's like to study at particular universities around Australia. If you have any questions about what it's like to study at this particular institution, please drop your um, comments down below and hit subscribe and let's get started. <laughs> and welcome to A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki and today, super pumped to be flying into Darwin for a couple of days of filming a few episodes for you, various bits and pieces. I'm gonna be checking out the university, doing a couple of versions of the morning walk, basically just having a look around this place and seeing what it's all about. So let's get out of the airport and get started. Uh, Charles Darwin University was founded in 2003. The institution goes back a lot longer than that. Before that was actually the Northern Territory University here in Darwin and uh, it was merged with I believe the Robert Mendes Institute I want to say down in Alice Springs to form Charles Darwin University. Relatively big institution, you know, tens of thousands of students. I think about 25 to 30,000 students at time of filming, covering both undergrads and postgrads. So a lot of different things that you can study here at the university. And of course it does serve an incredibly large geographical region. Um, all of the Northern Territory is quite unique in Australia in the sense that it's serving students who are studying in over 150 locations so it has a very strong distance and online presence as well as campuses outside of the Northern Territory in Sydney and Melbourne. Gives you a lot of options as a student. Let's go check out some of the buildings. Have a look around. So I've been up here to Charles Darwin a couple of times and one of the things I've always loved as a visitor is like this really simple colour-coded way of visiting the campus. So we're just about to go in down in the orange area but then you can go to purple and pink and yellow and all of the different coloured regions of the campus followed by the actual building numbers and it actually makes it super easy to get around and of course as we walk around campus we we'll actually see that there's plenty of signage indicating which way to go to reach the various coloured regions of the campus. The university definitely has a lot of beautiful outdoor spaces. We've just come into the Chinese gardens and there's also an indigenous area and an Indonesian garden and this is something special I think that you only get from the benefit of having like plenty of outdoor space. This beautiful campus is these really peaceful places where you can come and just sort of chill out and catch your breath a little bit. This is awesome. Now, of course, because it's a university that serves such a huge audience and such a wide region, it's a very comprehensive institution covering everything from like accounting and business through to education courses which are very strong here. Engineering of course with oil and gas being such a huge industry here in the Northern Territory. Um, oil and gas engineering is very strong. Exercise and sports science um, has got a really good representation here on campus. Um, not to mention the health sciences. Um, things like nursing of course. Because it is the unique provider in the Northern Territory for higher education around um, uh, nursing for example, so university courses, it's got an excellent program here. Outside of that, the, the university actually teaches something like 4,000 Indigenous students, so it has a very strong Indigenous studies program here um, too. And sciences and the environment um, are particularly well handled. Um, the environment here is, is absolutely unique, so things like um, coastal, uh, coastal marine biology are fantastic 
um, management of different um, in environments like the, the deserts, for example, um, responding to natural uh, disasters is, uh, is, is a particularly strong topic here. And then a lot of the other sort of traditional topics that you would expect to see from an institution of this size. So things like psychology, law, um, languages, there's Greek, Indonesian and Mandarin here, um, not to mention uh, public health, etc. So there's, there's tons of choice, basically, regardless of what you're interested in studying, there's pretty much going to be an option for you here at Charles Darwin. Because it is a university, it's a dual sector university, there's not that many of them here in Australia, and this is of course the only one in the Northern Territory, teaching both university degrees and um, vocational education, so TAFE programs. So that means you do have access to the full range, range of trades through Charles Darwin Uni, health and beauty, um, some of the uh, health disciplines that are taught at TAFE level are also available here. As a dual sector institution, that gives you tons of advantages because it does mean that you can start off by doing a TAFE program here and then transition very easily into a, um, a bachelor program. And then maybe even into a master's, who knows? And this is one of the things that's so critical when you're looking for some sort of a further education program is like, don't feel like you've got to start with university if you're really interested in doing something like health and beauty or hospitality, start with that and you can always transition into a degree later. Um, those programs, VET programs, can still get you a great job. Hey guys, this is Adam. How are you, man? <laughs> Where are you from, mate? I'm from Sweden. Awesome. Um, <laughs> tell me, how did you end up in Darwin? Um, so basically I'm doing an interchange uh, program, right? Yep. And we got a list of all the universities uh, that are partners uh, yep. with my university and I was like, yeah, so I want to go the fur furthest away from Sweden as possible. Yeah. And then I saw Australia and I'm like, yeah, that's on the other side of the globe, so I'll probably go there. Awesome. What's it been like studying here? I mean, this is... Where in Sweden are you from? <laughs> I'm from uh, a, a city called Kovde, but I used to study in uh, Jönköping. And how does this compare? What's it like suddenly landing in Darwin? Uh, I'm like, the first thing is that warm. Oh, yeah, it's warm. I'm like in Sweden, we used to walk into a sauna, but here you walk out to the sauna. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And what's it, what's it like studying here? So, what what kind of classes are you doing? Uh, I'm doing um, uh, some social work units. Um, but the main difference that I notice is that in Sweden, we used to do like one unit at a time, uh -huh. and when that's fin finished, uh, we've already gotten a grade on that. Then we begin on the next one. So we have like the same amount of the units in one semester, but we do them separately one at a time. Awesome. Here we do like everyone at the same time. So that's a major difference. Nice. And what's it like? What's the vibe like on campus? Are people pretty relaxed? Are they friendly? What's it like? Yeah, I'd say that they're pretty relaxed and friendly actually. Since we're living so close together, we basically get, basically like get friends real quick. And also they have all of these like social activities that you participate in, so you expand your social network. Nice. And what about outside of class? What do people tend to do here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like basic student life. I'm mean, like Fridays, you got drink usually, yeah. or you just hang out here and like have a couple of beers with the nice the lads. Good. Yeah. Awesome, man. Good to chat with you. Yeah. Well, this is international house, international student house. So this is like some of the on-campus accommodation right on the Casuarina campus. And look, it looks kind of compact and like it's got good facilities. I've seen kitchen facilities, there's a pool, there's um, like locked bikes. Here we've actually got like a little volleyball court. So I, I always think it's a great thing for institutions to have on-campus accommodation for students. And I tell you what, like the rest of Charles Darwin here in Darwin itself, there's heaps of space here, so if you're looking for an accommodation option and you're coming from overseas, this looks like a, a, a good place to start. Let's talk about rankings, because for some people rankings is very important. And nationally, in Australia, Charles Darwin ranks around about 20th to 25th in the country, depending on what um, ranking you're looking at. Well, for the first time in filming all of these university reviews, and I've now done something like 
25 of them all around Australia. I've had my first epic video fail. Um, I was filming a really nice outro for you guys, telling you all about the amazing stuff that Charles Darwin Uni has to offer, and then had a realization when I got back to my Airbnb that I hadn't actually pressed the record button, which is somewhat essential when you're filming a video. So there's a tip for young players. Anyway, Charles Darwin Uni, I had a really great time there today. So many things going for this university from its like unique environment, um, a community that really cares and different opportunities to study both um, online as well as in person at the Casuarina campus. I think it's got heaps going for it. If this video has been useful for you, please subscribe, please hit that bell button um, and like this video. That really helps me to make more uni review videos for you. And uh, any questions or comments that you have about Charles Darwin or any other uni for that matter, hit me up in the comments below. That's it, it's been a really long day. I think I'm going to bed. I'm Rob Malicki and I'll see you next time on The Life That Travels. Thanks.